The American dentist and trophy hunter accused of killing Cecil the lion in Zimbabwe is getting a taste of being hunted himself. The outcry over 13-year-old Cecil's demise has reached the door of his holiday home in Florida. The sign reads, you're an abomination, the world will hunt you down. The best-known lion in Zimbabwe is said to have been lured from a park with bait, shot with an arrow, tracked for 40 hours, shot dead and then beheaded and skinned. The US Fish and Wildlife Service is investigating. Wildlife biologist Andrew Loveridge, who's previously studied Cecil, says he's saddened but that hunting has a role. The reality is that about a one and a half million square kilometres of African wildlife habitat is set aside as hunting reserves. And that has a huge um, benefit for conservation. And of course, you know, hunting does bring in revenue, um, just as photographic tourism brings in revenue. But um, you know, for African politicians, they have to justify why they want to set aside this, this land for animals rather than people. And I think, you know, without that revenue, they find that very hard to do. Palmer, whose membership's been suspended by Safari Club International, admits killing the lion but says he believed the hunt was legal. An online petition demanding his extradition has exceeded 100,000 signatures. Cecil was head of two lion prides, among whose members there may be more deaths in the ensuing power struggle.